welcome to the first demonstration of steerability prediction using raspberry pi 4 so in this project we interface the pi camera to the pi 4 model so we are using 4 gb pi 4 and uh, that was uh, uh, driven by the 32 gb memory card which is uh, loaded with open cv and tensorflow so we are using a tensorflow for detecting the traffic signs along with the traffic signals and also lane following uh, prediction using the same tensorflow algorithm so based on the lane prediction uh, the robot is going to control the direction of these two dc motors which are attached to the front driving wheels and uh, through the l298 motor driver so which is interface at the 5 6 9 13 pins of our pi 4 and uh, pi camera directly pi camera slots and uh, directly we have interface the lcd to see to see the status that was interfaced to the pin number 17 27 22 10 9 11 pins of our pi 4 directly and uh, also like uh, 23 24 for the pwm pins of l298 motor driver so the main purpose of the pwm pins are to control the speed of these dc motors whenever we receive the signals uh, traffic signs like 45 kilometers per hour and next uh, speed bump so based on these two inputs we are going to uh, make the speed as off for the full speed so full speed you consider level 1 and level 2 is going to be the off speed and uh, stop when the when we receive the stop sign then automatically the robot stop moving uh, then in order to restart again we need to uh, restart the raspberry pi and also like this traffic signals will be identified whenever we place the red signal at a distance then automatically the robot stop moving and after that it will start moving again so here we are using uh, two batteries one battery is for two uh, power supply for the two dc motors which is directly given to this l298 motor driver so in order to recharge this battery we are going to making use of this charger so this charger will take 230 volts ac inputs and provide us the 12 volts dc outputs so just by providing 230 volts ac input to this one there is a red led indication and now connect the b at this B slots and leave it for 8 hours at least and after the time completion automatically the battery will be fully charged and these diodes stop the current flow from the charging circuits to the battery and after the time completion you can disconnect the charger and switch off the charging circuits and uh, to charge the battery of this lithium ion so each battery voltage is 3.7 volts 2000 mAh and uh, which is a rechargeable again through this boost converter so the main purpose of this boost converter is it will take 5 volts and provide a it will charge the battery and by taking 3.7 volts it will provide us the 5 volts output directly so 3.7 to 5 volts boost converter so when we connect the b type charger then there is a light indication so when it is blinking it's indication of battery is charging when this led continuously on so the battery is fully charged so then you can disconnect the charger right and the next directly we need to connect the c type connector at this so these two are the hdmi outputs so we need to connect over here so after giving the power supply then the system will start booting so once the booting was successfully done so you can switch on this this is the power supply for the dc motors so the LED indication show the getting power supply from the battery so when it is showing the monitoring right so welcome message and then after monitoring so when you switch on this the robot start moving so consider just uh, if we show any traffic signs in front of this robot then the particular sign will be identified and will be displayed on the lcd screen right speed limit and uh, speed bump Right. If you show the stop directly, the system will uh, stop its execution, and for no restart, you need to restart the system. So let us see that on floor. Directly replace this.
right so so and stop